All right, what's up, people? Um, so this is my first um, actual Let's Play for this channel, and uh, I decided to do City Skylines. It's one of my favorite city builder games. Um, I do like the uh, SimCity 2013 when it came out, but I like that one for different reasons. There's kind of a, a lot of micromanaging on in that one, and this one's kind of feels like more macro managing sort of even though there's a lot of things you can do here um, so let me make sure my settings are all set up here um, graphics so I can do 1080p but um, I've got the screen scaled up a little bit so I can see the text a little bit better so we'll just do it like this for now um, I like to play, let's see, I like to play with money on and everything unlocked from the beginning. This way you're not limited to just having to wait until you get a certain amount of citizens in your city uh, to build certain things. But the unique buildings are still locked. So... So you still have something to work for. Okay, so let's start a new game. Uh, let's see. Uh, th this will be fine. Random disasters is fine. I have all I have all the DLC except for the new mass transit. Um, so we should get disasters happening ran randomly. Okay, yeah, it's giving me the tutorial messages, which I don't need. Um... Okay, so the thing I like about um, the Unlock All is we'll get all the roads right away so that we can uh, build our roads off of the highway right when we start, as it should be. So what we'll do is uh, extend the highway just a little bit, and in this game for a one-way road, you have to build in the direction that the road is going. And then we'll do this. Oh, we got some new guides here for roads. That's nice. That's a that's a welcome addition right there. Actually, and I'll go ahead. Let's see. I got I got plenty of money to start with, so I'll go ahead and extend these a little bit further out. Okay, and what I will do is kind of do this, we'll do this like we they do in real life. We'll put a four-lane road uh, going over going over the highway. Let's see, where's my button for that? Your page up. Well, I don't want it that high. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be finicky on it, I think. There we go. Yeah, so it's gonna let me do it. We'll go down. There. We'll extend that just a little bit more so the ramps have plenty of space. Then we do a ramp going on and off both sides. Okay, so there's our first route now. It's giving... Okay, yeah. Just making sure those are all still locked. Um, 
Okay, so then we'll go to a regular two-laner. Two-lane road, bring that out here. We want to think ahead about our zoning. We need the the majority of the industrial zoning to be close to the highway so that industrial traffic isn't congesting commercial and residential traffic. Because industrial uh, zoning has a lot of uh, a lot of trucks. So we're going to keep that close to the highway and then bring our residents out this way. Should turn those off. Uh, let's see. Let's go this way since we've got the room to do it. zone low density right here to start streets even have names now that's a new one I haven't played this since the mass transit update so it's pretty good stuff We know right away they're not going to have power, because I haven't set up a power plant. So let's pause it. Let's set up power. Um, so we, have, we already have access to advanced wind turbines. Which are pretty good, but you have to put them on the water. And we have water. goes here. Okay, good. So we'll go ahead and put these over here. We've got a little bit of noise pollution, so we'll just stick them right in the middle. Give ourselves 20 megawatts straight away. And get the power lines out here to the edge. And then we'll cross the road. So then we'll go back into zoning, zone residential here as well. So that way when they build right here, the power will be connected all around. See those are filling in nicely now. Multiple problems. So they say they don't have water. So uh, we'll go ahead and set up water as well. Now there's a few options for water. We can do um, water tower or we can pump water directly from the river either way we're going to have to dump our sewage into the river for now because we cannot afford these uh, these fancier options the water treatment plant um, ba basically the water pumping station is the best the best deal and so water is flowing this way. So if the water is flowing this way, we want to make sure that our sewage outflow pipe is here on the edge. 
so that it goes this way because we're going to take our water from over here. If we take our water from the other side of the sewage pipe, we're basically taking in polluted water. So we don't want to do that. So let's set up the pipe right there. Let's get our pump over on the other side. Now we have to connect the pipes. Um, there's options later on for geothermal heating, and but it requires a special pipe. And they're more expensive. So for now, we will just connect these up here. That's connected, and then we'll run this guy over here. Oh, not going to let me. There we go. We'll run this right along this road. Nice and neat. Now the other thing is that it'll need... They both need power. Actually, this needs power. And the pump needs power as well. And it's kind of sloppy to put these power lines up right away, but eventually... Uh, when more things fill in, you don't need them anymore. Okay, so let's run it. These guys should have water and power momentarily. Didn't pipe didn't reach them there. Not close enough. So you can't build over there, so, so we'll have to extend the pipes this way just a little bit. Okay, good. We got that going. Okay, so what do we do next? Well, we want to look down here and um, it's strange because in real life you, you would think that uh, it would be worse to have unemployment than a worker shortage. Um, but, in real life, sometimes the worker shortages are worse. And that's actually the case in this game. For some reason in this game, there's, in this game, there's no real consequence for having a high unemployment rate. So, what we'll do is we'll continue to build residential zones until there's high demand for industry and commercial and almost no demand for residential. And usually what that means is we're, we'll have our unemployment rate. Well, right now it's, oops, it's pretty high because we didn't we haven't zoned anything yet. Um, but uh, the unemployment rate will actually hang around 20%. Which is a ridiculously high number for real life. zone another section of residential right there make sure they've got water they do and oh, okay we're already there so now they want commercial and industry so we'll put our industry uh, close to the highway it's going to need water Some water for that and they want commercial as well. We'll put commercial over here. We'll just start with the section in the middle. It usually doesn't take too much zoning of commercial to satisfy demand.
than mine. I really like these new zone guides. Takes the guesswork out of it. Before before you had there was a lot of guesswork and you know how long to make the rows and if you were off by one unit, then it, it messed the whole thing up. Oh, and these guys don't have power. Forgot to give them power. enough here. Nope. Not close enough. Nope. Now they got it. Oh, I guess it was close enough. Good deal. Rather than running another power line over there, we'll just zone this and if that if they build there that should connect the power should connect the power there also I think just for the purposes of this video I'll go ahead and turn off the turn off the music music volume there we go See, I was afraid of this. It doesn't seem, it's like I said, it doesn't take much commercial. And since they're going to put a building up right here, and now it's 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 about satisfied. So we might got might not get the buildings here to connect the power. Okay, now it's good. So everything's running along just fine. Now the one thing we do want to look at now that we're now that we're kind of into this is we are down I think that says six hundred and sixty two uh, dollars per month we're in the red so we want to try to get that into the green before too long we've got quite a bit of money left but we gotta make sure we don't completely run out also they need uh, waste management. Which I think would be best to put over here by the sewage outflow pipe. There's that. And of course it destroyed my power lines. Never fails. Uh, there. So, really all we need is a single landfill, and that'll take care of it. For now. Okay, so, moving right along, we need to continue to zone residential. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. See how much more money we get once these people have moved in. Oh, something else. Since we're doing this 
let's turn off let's turn off the day and night cycle Oop. there we go there now we can see oh and now that I can see um, this looks like fertile fertile land here And what I mean by that is we can use um, industry specialization and make it farming. We get a little bit more money out of those zones than than the regular industry. However, I've already set up residential zones right on that ground but let's take a look here pull up the resources and yeah but there's not a whole lot there's actually more up there oh naturally right where the highway goes through imminent domain huh so we'll probably we'll put some farming over here in this area once we get there for now I think we should just stick with the original plan Okay, now they're saying we've got we've got crime. Really? I guess that's because nobody's educated. That's what happens when you don't go to school, you turn to a life of crime. So stay in school, kids. Put in a small police state. Now, wait a minute. Now, so this is giving me European buildings. This must be a European map that I... that I, uh... selected, so... Alright. So there's that. Meanwhile, we're... we're back in the... back in the green with the money. So that's a good deal. All right, um, I think I'm going to end this video right here. So we've got the our basic starter city going here, and uh, I'm not sure when I'll continue this, but uh, yeah, we'll see how we'll just see how it goes, and maybe I'll, I might start over because I don't know why I've got European buildings here. So the Europe it looks like they're European for law enforcement yeah you're yeah well wait a minute the, that isn't really I wonder if something got mixed up here yeah maybe not I'll check into that later yeah 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 Obviously, there's a lot of things to fix here. So, maybe we'll work on that next time. So, until then, everyone take care. Thanks for watching.